example, Donald Trump's sentencing in his New York criminal case has been postponed until September. Let's get right out to CBS News investigative correspondent Graham Cates to break down what's going on. Graham, what are you learning? Yeah, so uh, as expected, uh, the, the judge in Donald Trump's criminal case uh, has postponed his sentencing, which was scheduled for just nine days from today uh, until September 18th. And um, he even wrote in this very short order uh, that uh, that hearing will be held if necessary. And that's because um, 12 days before that, on September 6th, he will issue a ruling on Trump's motion to overturn the conviction uh, just yesterday, um, hours after the Supreme Court issued its ruling uh, granting broad uh, presidential immunity, um, uh, Trump's lawyers wrote a letter to the judge saying, we want to file this motion if you'll allow us to. Um, and then today, the prosecutors sent a follow-up letter saying, uh, you know, if this motion is going to be filed, we consent to delaying uh, sentencing. Though they, of course, said that they believe that this effort will be without merit. Uh, this is, at the very least, going to delay um, for a couple of months uh, resolution in, in his criminal trial in which he was convicted. Let's talk about the timing of this, because uh, sentencing was originally scheduled for July 11th. That, was just, that would be just days before the RNC in Milwaukee. Now it's going to be just two days before early voting starts in a few states. Yeah, well, you know, um, uh, this trial has played out, This uh, both its pretrial proceedings, the trial itself, um, even the indictment back last year, this has all played out against the backdrop of Trump's ongoing presidential campaign. Uh, and uh, a lot of the delays have, have worked to make this more intertwined with the campaign. Uh, if you think back, the, the trial itself was supposed to start uh, three weeks earlier than it did, um, but it was delayed because of a motion by Trump. Uh, and so had they not done that, had they had not had that initial delay, um, it's possible that this sentencing would have happened uh, before yesterday's Supreme Court decision. Uh, so this thing keeps getting pushed back, uh, even though they were able to have the trial, able to get that conviction. The process itself um, has been slow and agonizing and um, digging further into the presidential campaign season. Graham Cates, thanks for joining us on the breaking news. Thank you.